Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to look at how to multiply two complex numbers in polar form. Usually referred to as z1 and z2. I'm going to multiply the two complex numbers 3 times cosine of pi over 6 plus i sine of pi over 6 times 5 times the quantity cosine of 4 pi over 3 plus i sine of 4 pi over 3. Now with these numbers in complex in a polar form I have both a theta and a z, or excuse me, a theta and an r. And if I don't have that from the beginning, I'll need to figure out what those are based on my conversion formulas. In this case, if I'm already given that. I'm going to use the formula shown here. In general, I want to think of z1 as, again, r cosine theta plus i sine theta, and z2 s just representing a different value for that distance from the center to the point. X represents just a different angle. Now we could go through and FOIL it out and use our formulas to simplify it. Simply put, this is a quicker method of doing so. We're going to use our formula, which is R times S times the quantity cosine of X plus theta. Basically, when it's multiplication, very much like uh, logarithms, it's the sum of the two angles. So I sine of my two angles, x plus theta. I'm going to apply that to my values here. So first of all, my r times s, my 3 and 5 is going to be 15. Next, I need to add the two angles that I'm given. So I need to add pi over 6 and 4 pi over 3. So I'll need a common denominator of 6. So it gives me pi over 6 plus 24 pi over 6. Or excuse me, that's not 24. Let's try that again. Two. That's going to be a lot easier. So now I have eight pi over six. That's much better. Now when I add my like terms, I'll get nine pi over six. Which, when I reduce each by three, I'll get three pi over two. So now I have my r times s, I have my x plus theta, and now I'll put it into the proper form, which will be 15 times the quantity cosine of 3 pi over 2 plus i sine of 3 pi over 2.